Now, there's a new chatbot out there. It's called Claude, and it's a direct competitor to ChatGPT. It's created by a different company called Anthropic. Now, Claude 2 can do a lot more things than ChatGPT and, for example, Google Bard can do. For example, it can do summaries for you. It can help you with research, and it could help you with writing. And it could help you with coding as well. Apparently, it's really good at it. We're going to test all of this. It's totally free to use and I'm going to show you exactly how to use it on the web and also it has more recent data than for example chat GPT has. The free version for example it has updated data to 2023. As you all know chat GPT has it until 2021. So it doesn't have web access like for example Bing has but it has updated data up to 2023, which is totally fine by us. Now, what's also good about this is that it can handle really great input, up to 75,000 words as an input. So your prompt can be as long as 75,000 words, and you can just like put the documents in it. So for example, if you have a large file, a certain, I don't know, science file or a document which you need to be summarized, it can do it like in no time, and you can just just upload five files at a time. So that's something that ChatGPT, even GPT-4 cannot do. So you can just upload the documents, ask it to summarize it for you, and you can ask like any type of follow-up questions. So let's test all of this out and let's make like a comparison with ChatGPT to fully understand what Claude 2 can do. First of all, the website is Claude.ai. And you can see that they've got Cloud for Business as well. So this is through their API. But of course, this is something that you would have to pay for. But if you don't want to pay for this, if you just want to use it for research, for school, for freelancing career, whatever you want to do, just continue with your email or just continue with Google here. And you will right away just land onto your dashboard, let's say. So first of all, let's just make one simple prompt for it, one simple task and compare the work with ChatGPT. So I'm going to write this. So explain AI to me like I'm five years old. Let's just hit like this enter key. As you can see, if you want to add files, accept PDF, text, CSV, etc. But let's just go with this prompt. So I'm just going to ask Claude to explain to me AI like I'm five years old. The same goes with ChatGPT. So let's just check this out firstly on Claude. So AI is like a very smart robot that can learn things and solve problems. It's made by programmers on computers. They give the AI rules and show it lots of examples, kind of like teaching a person. So honestly, it is simple, but for me, not like it's five years old. ChatGPT is better in this way because as you can see how it goes. So imagine you have a super smart robot friend. This robot friend can learn things just like you do, but it learns really, really fast and it can remember lots and lots of things. So when you ask your robot friend a question or tell it to do something, it can use all the things it learned to figure out the best answer or how to do what you ask. It's like having a super smart helper who can think and learn on its own. This is far more suited for kids for a five year old. So it'll be fair to say that ChatGPT won this one. But let's go now with something more complicated. Have a look at this. I found this online. This is like a nutrition science project and it's just basically a science paper. As you can see, really complicated, a lot of data. What I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna click on this button here. I'm gonna find that document you can see that five is the maximum number and it has to be like 10 megabytes each. I'm just going to write the prompt. Can you summarize this for me? I'm going to click the enter key and then we'll just have to wait a bit. Now, as you were able to see, it was a really, really complicated article, but it gave me like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points, which now I can use in order to understand what this project is about. Now, this is really useful, especially, for example, if you are doing a school project, if you're doing something for your company, if you're doing anything related to summarizing something just in order to understand something, just in order not to read the whole article, the whole project, the whole science paper behind all of that, it gives you all of these points 
and you can just understand. So for example, if you are doing any kind of research, you can get these points and understand if it's going to work for you or not. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to ask it to explain the main point in one sentence and in very simple terms. So I just wanted to get this like in one sentence. So I just wanted to discover if Claude can do this for me so I don't have to read like these points. And it gave me that. So this whole science paper is basically this. The main point is that nutrition science needs to expand beyond biology to also address the social and environmental impacts of food and nutrition on people and the planet. So you can see how really, really useful this can be. Now I'm going to do the same thing. So explain it to me like I'm five, like I'm five years old. And of course, we'll just get the simple terms, the whole article, like I'm five years old. You can pause and read this. I don't want to prolong this video, but it's good. You know, the next thing that I wanted to try is I wanted to give me the top 10 key points in bullet point format. Now, this is the same thing as you would go on to summarize, but if you, for example, need 10 key points, this is gonna be it. And it's really good. Job well done for this one. ChatGPT cannot do any of these things. It can't just take the documents. But now I've heard that Claude 2 is also good at coding. So I'm just gonna test it out like this. So can you write a Python code for a very basic game of tic-tac-toe? And it just starts right away. As you can see, it's really good at it. It gives you like really neat, nice code. And all you have to do with this one is that you just copy and paste this one where you need it but I think that chat GPT can also do like the same thing so let's just go and test it out I'm just gonna continue this and as you can see it gives like almost the same answer so you can for example pause the video and just compare these two if it's I'm gonna do it later of course but seems to me that this one is faster and maybe more neat Claude 2 gave us like the really long code and it give you the explanation of what it did. So I think that Claude 2 did a way better job. Now, the only downside of Claude 2 is that until now, the moment that I'm recording this video is that it's only available in the United States and Canada. So if you want to use this one, maybe you can check it out later. It depends on when you will watch this video. You just go and check it out if it's working in your country or not. But I think they're just gonna, they're, they're still in the beta version. So when they just move it out, I think that is going to be available for the whole world. All in all, it's a good thing to have. And I think that it's gonna be better than ChatGPT and Google Bard. The only thing that I don't know is if it's gonna be better than Bing. I have a video about Bing on my channel, so have a watch, just take a look at it and see what do you think. Bing can go online, it can give you like real-time information, so that's why I love to use it. But this one is really good for summaries. I use it for just getting these bullet points if I have science paper or if I just have a long document which needs to be summarized. And of course, you could earn money with this. Research, it's in the demand. So just go and be creative. Wish you good luck and I'll catch you.